Okay, so this part of the video is the nuts and bolts part. This is always the part that students are, you know, asking about the most. And I call it the nuts and bolts part because it's the, the mechanics and also the, okay, here's how this is going to work. I don't put this in the introduction because I don't want your eyes to glaze over. And I feel like an introduction is, you know, should be that, an introduction. Here is the chorus. Here's what it's about, and, and here's <clears throat> why it matters. That's, you know, that's the good thing to do for, for a chorus, right? An, an introduction. So this part now is the nuts and bolts part of, of how the chorus is going to work. So you're sitting at home or at your desk or wherever you happen to be, and you want to know, how, how does this chorus work? Okay, so this chorus is set up a little different than uh, perhaps your other courses in that this isn't a you know, live or continuous, or I believe it's called synchronous course offering. So what that means is that these lectures have been pre-recorded and I'm not live, we're not doing a Zoom meeting, we're not all meeting or, or doing anything like that. I've just seen too many problems with Zoom meetings and so I'm not, I'm not going down that road. Uh, what that means is this course, all of the content all of the content is on the website and you can pretty much go through it at your own pace. Which is to say, if you want to do the course in a week or two weeks, you can. If you want to do you know, one of the learning modules at a time, you can. So on the website, you'll notice that I have, I have a setup as learning modules. And in each of those modules, so it'll say introduction to OB, uh, chapter one, you know, things like that. And then in each of those little learning modules, there'll be PowerPoints, uh, these video lectures, and then usually a self-assessment, something like that, and then a quiz. So in this course, there's gonna be seven quizzes that are worth 10% each, that's 70%, and then a final project, about which I'll, I'll, I'll talk in, in a little bit. So that's, that's the course, there's no participation marks, or anything like that. Um, and I'm just keeping it as simple as possible. So if you click on, a, if you open up a little learning module, you'll see that there's some PowerPoints and these video lectures. In some of these learning modules, like the motivation one, there are, I believe, three videos there. And there'll be, I'll have two quizzes, just because the motivation, there's a lot of material in there. So how to get ready, your first thought is, okay, so how do I prepare for the quiz? First of all, the quizzes are pretty easy, okay? They're pretty straightforward. Uh, if you're worried, one of the things I've discovered as an instructor, if you're worried about your marks, that means you probably shouldn't be worried about your marks. And if you're not worried about your marks, you probably should be worried about your marks. The people that have emailed me asking about textbooks and things like that, you know, I should just give you an A and send you on your way because uh, it's pretty much a done deal. Uh, you know, in preparing for these uh, lectures, etc., what you should do is the first thing you should do is just pop open the PowerPoints and, you know, read through the PowerPoints quickly. I've kept them shorter. And if there are videos, then you should click on the video link and watch the videos. Watch the videos before listening to the lecture. That'll make what I say uh, a lot more understandable and coherent because you'll understand what I'm referring to. So I would read the PowerPoints, watch the videos, and then watch these lectures. And that should set you up just fine for the quiz. The other thing that I'll do for your quizzes, because I know you're anxious, I understand, um, is that I will make a little PowerPoint slide that'll have the relevant PowerPoints and the, and the YouTube links of whatever is on the quiz. Okay, and the, the questions on the quiz that relate to the, the uh, videos are general. It's not, you know, what are this person's, what's this person's eye colors, or did he say this, or did she say that? Just general, you know, what does the monkey do when, when, when he finds out that the other monkey is getting a, a, a grape and, and she's getting the cucumber? What's the response, right? Uh, that kind of thing. And, those, so the videos, PowerPoints, coupled with what I talk, that is basically it. So you're saying, what about this textbook thing? The textbook's online, so you don't have to buy it. If you prefer a physical copy, any edition of any OB textbook will be fine because they're pretty generic. They pretty much cover the same material. So it doesn't matter if you have the fourth edition of 
the Nelson or the second edition of the Galatly. It doesn't matter. Any textbook will be fine. If you prefer to learn like that, there is also the open source online textbook that you see in the syllabus, which is free, and you can read through that. For the quizzes, the quizzes are based on my lectures, the PowerPoints, and the YouTube videos, because that's really all you need to know. This is essentially an introduction or a survey of organizational behavior and what it means for you and for organizations. So it's not meant to be exhaustive. If you're really into it, guess what? Go to grad school. You can study a lot more about this. So you have seven quizzes, uh, and you'll notice too that there are, not everything is being quizzed. So for example, the little learning module on stress. There's no questions on that. I don't want to stress you out about stress. So, but that's there for your own interest, right? And if you're like, hey, you know, that's, uh, that's interesting. I want to see what I can learn about stress. Then you click on there, watch the video, read the PowerPoints, and that's just for your own you know, your own uh, education and your own enrichment. As well, and I haven't done this yet, but I'm going to be doing this. I'm getting a video camera, and I'm going to go to a couple of different locations in Edmonton and provide some material that I think will be helpful for you. So I'm going to, one of the things I'm going to do is go to Startup Edmonton and get Adam to talk a little bit about what Startup Edmonton is, how students can get involved, and what Startup Edmonton offers to the budding entrepreneur slash student, okay? The other thing I'm going to do while I'm there is I'm going to talk with a person named Shane who started a little company up in the basement called the Shoeshine Shack. And I'm gonna have him talk a little bit about his company, but also about how do you take care of your shoes? Because that might be useful. If you're not interested in taking care of your shoes, then guess what? You don't have to watch the video, whatever. I'm also going to get Jared, who uh, has a really cool company called Hype Fetish. Uh, he has a pair of running shoes that are a little over $2,000. And so, I mean, this guy, <laughs> uh, the person recorded here, my friend Tyler, and I just saw his eyebrows go up. So Jared is a student at McEwen who had collected a basement full of, of shoes because shoes are like big deals, right? He's got some uh, original Air Jordans, etc. He's got like $5,000 sneakers. It's insane. He had a basement full of this stuff and so he wanted to start, you know, seeing if he could resell it. So he got a place at the, in the basement of, of the Mercer there at Startup Edmonton and now he's like moving shoes. You can check him out on Instagram, Hype Fetish, and he's got some pretty sweet kicks. Uh, it's not cheap, I'll tell you that, but student McEwen who started a company Right, and so we'll, we'll talk to him a bit about his enterprise, etc. The other thing I'm going to do is go to, because this is a, you know, something, that you, something you never hear about, and it's, and it's too bad. How do you dress well, or how do you dress for an interview? So I'm going to go to a, a local business called Eddie's Menswear, and, and I know, ladies, you're thinking, well, menswear, what's this have to do with me? There's a lady that dresses really well there, and so I'm going to have, a video for how men can dress and how you can have a nice wardrobe that doesn't break the bank. They sell really nice stuff, but you know, how can I pull things together so that it looks okay? And I'll have someone talk about that, and then I'll have this lady there talk about how women can dress well, what's, what is a nice uh, business outfit for women, how can you spice things up, you know, within reason, of course, uh, so that you look, you know, you look, look good, right? Those are videos that, you know, there's no testing component, but they might be interesting. And it gives you a chance to learn a little bit about local businesses here. And, uh, you know, it's interesting, right? And where else are you going to find that? Okay, so just to recap, for the syllabus, what you need to know is that it's organized into these learning modules. Watch, read the PowerPoints, watch the videos, watch these lectures. And if there's anything there that you're, you know, if after, say, perception, you're like, fundamental attribution error, what is this exactly? I want like a written definition. You can Google it because Wikipedia has lots of this. You can read the online textbook or you can have a physical textbook and you can check up on it just for your own, you know, knowledge. Seven quizzes, one project. And I'll talk about the project, yeah, shortly.
Okay, so that's it for now.